Hey everyone, Christian here, and this is going to be a vlog on finding new palms and trying to identify what exactly they are. So <clears throat> I drive past this uh, condominium complex, it's in a golf course area here in Venice, and I see these on the side of the road, <clears throat> and uh, what really sticks out is that these are very fat-trunked Arcanto Phoenix, and they do not have any silver on the undersides of their leaves. Now, considering where we are, this is more, much of an older retirement community. People here aren't as much of a fan of people getting out and taking uh, photos or videos of their plants. So I'm just in the parking lot, and this is being done from the car. So because there's no silver on the under undersides of these leaves, there's some Cunninghamiana, or Contophenix Cunninghamiana, <coughs> excuse me, Cunninghamiana in them. And, uh, I, you know, there are hybrids, our condo Phoenix will hybridize, the King Palms will hybridize within the genus. Uh, you don't see it that often, or you're not able to find it that often, but there are others, there are other Cunninghamiana here that are definitely pure Cunninghamiana. They're not nearly as robust, but my best guess is that this is Alexandri crossed with Cunninghamiana because <clears throat> of the robust trunks and the fact that Alexandri is the most common in the genus so sometimes when you're trying to figure out what exactly a palm is you want to say hey where where am i you know what are the possibilities and uh here in florida uh, alexandri and cunningham man are going to be the most common even though the other species do exist it's possible that it could be crossed with say Arcanto phoenix maxima but they uh <clears throat> it's it's just more likely that it's alexandri so why do I think it's Alexandri with Cunninghamiana and not just Cunninghamiana is the is the size of the trunks. Now, if I had more time to really go and examine the the palm and if there were flowers and such, uh, I might be able to tell if it was pure Cunninghamiana. Um, my friend who lives in the ne who lived in the next town over had a uh, <clears throat> a pure Cunninghamiana. And he also had a Cunninghamiana variation Illawar, which is apparently a cold hardy variation of uh, of Cunninghamiana. I'm just going to call it the pick of bean, so I'm not going to sit here and uh, tongue twist myself. This is sometimes where the common uh, name is a lot easier to uh, to say. So <clears throat> the now he he did have a robust uh, pick of bean. Now the reason why I don't think it's just Alexandri or one of the other uh, palms that. Uh, other palms in the genus is for two reasons. One, there's no silver on the undersides of the leaflets. So uh, the pick bean is the only that only species that does not have uh, silver on its undersides. So it has to be at least part coming cunning, Cunninghamiana or pick bean. Um, <laughs> the second is that the uh, the trunks are also I'm sorry the crown shafts are also very uh, they they have like kind of like a, a darker green to them that you really only see in Cunninghamiana. And so they basically just, uh, there's someone coming by here. So, and so basically they just, uh, you know, that, that's, that sort of color, that sort of darker pale green is really going to be, uh, a telltale sign of coming, coming in Indiana. So, um, I think that these will flower soon or they already have flowered. If you look at the middle one, they are, uh, looks like it has put out a flower bract and uh, it looks like it, it will hopefully show its true colors I mean literally speaking and I'll be able to determine it's just hard because I don't have much access to these and uh, I really can't do a whole lot other than that there's actually no one lives in the one the place to the left of these plants the one to the right I'm not sure and I really don't want to start knocking on doors here. And this is where you really uh, have to just hope that you can find someone that may know what they were. You know, some landscaper 10 years ago might have put these in. And he may not have even known. He might have just been given uh, king palms, you know, gener generally speaking. And so it's it kind of sucks when you can't really, when you see a nice palm, but you can't really determine what it is because you don't really have any, like, uh, evidence like a track of evidence as to where it eventually originally came from and there's really no ownership this is a condo complex so none of the none of the owners or renters here really know where these plants came from they may have not lived here when uh, they were originally planted there's palms in a complex 
but uh, there's definitely some part Cunninghamia there. And if it is true Cunninghamia, these are just some amazing specimens. When I drove by and I saw the crown on them, I really thought that uh, these were, were true pick beans. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. And so uh, if I drive through a little bit and show you, which I will try and do at the end, you can see where there are other ones uh, that don't look nearly as nice. And I think the reason these look so nice uh, as well is that they're not getting full sun all day long. Excuse me. The There's actually, I'm in a carport, so it's actually uh, going to take some of the sun away in the morning. And then in the afternoon, these buildings here in the back uh, kind of deflect some of the light. It's hard to tell where the buildings are. There's actually one behind me as well. So uh, as well to the sides. And it just basically allows them to kind of grow openly, but in some shade. So true Cunninghamianas are really going to hate Florida sun. And they, uh, the person that just uh, left in the car really gave me like a weird look. And so... Uh, uh, it basically, you know, I was a little bit worried that I was going to get, you know, someone was going to call like the supervisor here. So this is me kind of doing a little uh, incognito vlog. So I apologize for trying to have to uh, start and stop here. But, you know, these thick trunks, they really are. I really haven't seen, I've only seen a couple Cunningham and with thick trunks like this here in Florida. So they're either be being very well taken care of if they are a pure species or they're going to be a hybrid. But they're at least part pick a bean. Um, but likely there is so much hybridization with our Conta Phoenix and people may not realize it. Um, one of the, one of the biggest perpetrators of this is actually, uh, our Conta Phoenix purpurea, the purple king palm with other species. So, uh, to the point where you actually can get pure purpurea seed in outside of habitat in Australia, because usually where it's growing in, uh, collections, there are other species of Arconto Phoenix, and they will always hybridize. If you grow up like a hundred uh, purpurea seed from uh, <clears throat> cultivation collected, you'll probably get like ten that show some purple, and it won't be as strong as like the original uh, purpurea that you know they came from. So, anyway, I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna st I'm actually gonna start uh, driving here and take a little drive <clears throat> around the parking lot. And hopefully be able to see the others. Well, we should definitely drive by the ones that don't look nearly as good. So if you don't mind waiting a second while my car tells me to drive safely and obey traffic rules, I can show you the other ones that we are dealing with here. So I'm hoping that in time I can find a way to get up close and personal with them. But until then, so there's some right there. Now if I bring this like that, and then right up front is, right front and center there is where we're looking at. Too many masks. Right up front and center there is really where we're looking at uh, some ugly looking ones there. Uh, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Oh. And so those are not looking that great but they are showing a very, very, they're actually showing some characteristics of having Illawarra in them. And uh, as a result, that's, Illawarra is going to have a more yellowish green crown shaft. So, you know, but I'm not seeing any silver. You know, part of me wants to say, well, you know, these are just Alexandri, but I, maybe they're all hybrids. Maybe some are hybridized with Illawarra, uh, Cunninghamia and Illawarra with Alexandri. So time will tell if I can get, if they flower and the landscape guys allow it to, you know, to go to color, you can kind of get an idea and um, we'll kind of go from there. But anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, you want to see more uh, palm reviews and other interesting things I may find around town or wherever I may go, uh, you know, go ahead and subscribe and, uh, yeah, and I appreciate you watching and have a good day.